And today we're going to start off the 2015 grow with planting some seeds and we're going to carry you up throughout the grow. And what are we talking about? We are talking about kale, okay? And I believe this variety is called La Senato. La Senato. La Senato. I don't know what it, how you pronounce it, but what this is is dinosaur kale, guys. Guys, how you doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome inside my grow room. Uh, today I want to do a quick update on something that I have been growing for the very first time hydroponically, and that is kale, more specifically dinosaur kale. And I have some cool ideas of what I want to do with the dinosaur kale once it's ready to be harvested. But I want to get it growing, and I want to get it growing big. And I want to do a little quick test experiment on it as well. We're about four to five weeks into the grow. And what I've learned so far is that dinosaur kale for a green leafy vegetable is a somewhat slower grower uh, in terms of uh, when compared to something like a lettuce. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the two that are growing uh, right now compared to some lettuce and then I will tell you what I've been doing with it in terms of maintenance and what the experiment's gonna be. Okay guys, I am behind the camera right now, okay? So here's dinosaur kale number one, all right? Again, four to five weeks into the grow, uh, I thought it would be bigger uh, than it is right now, but it is not. Uh, and here is the second one, okay? Now I pruned off the bottom leaves off of this and uh, I have filled it up with perlite but more on that in a minute. When we compare something like a dinosaur kale to a lettuce, this is this lettuce is exactly the same age so is this. That's a butter crunch that's already been harvested off of once. This one has not been harvested off of yet however I did break one of the little leaves off which makes me sad but it's starting to uh, form that nice uh, romaine head right there because that's romaine lettuce so uh, but nonetheless man this is uh, this is kind of a slow grower I'm okay with that now these are obviously my cucumbers going on right there I had to put some uh, uh, aluminum around it to keep the light out because I was noticing some algae forming in there but that's another story Right there is a quick starter uh, bucket of miniature romaine lettuce, it's more specifically Little Gem, okay? But, back to Dinosaur Kale. Dinosaur Kale, grow method, five gallon bucket, thus far to the grow, grown completely cracky, no aeration, yet. So uh, I did a couple of videos on uh, start, starting uh, seedlings and starting seed in rock wool and uh, these were a couple of the candidates that we started off about five weeks ago. And uh, during the planning video I pointed out that I ran out of the stuff called Grow Dan, uh, but I planted these in six inch uh, buckets that they make to fit on top of five gallon uh, buckets here. So this is like a six inch top right here and I ran out of it. So I just... Uh, had some perlite available well I bought some at the hardware store on sale and I uh, put some um, aluminum foil, foil around the outside so this stuff wouldn't fall into the nutrient and I, I've done that on both of them so now we are getting ready to uh, really kick this up now the very first uh, month of this particular grow these things were growing with uh, Fox Farms Grow Big and the parts per million started out at about 600. I just did a full nutrient change on both of these and they are both reading about 1,000 parts per million. So here's the experiment. Cracky versus cracky with aeration. Well, we see a big difference with one that's being aerated and one that isn't. This one right here is cracky. So no aeration. The roots are just going to grow down into the nutrient. I did get a few of those in there, but we got a good root structure still starting off right now but this is going to be the cracky and this one's going to be the one that's going to have aeration going in it so as you can see I have a good root system there and a good air stone going on right there and we're going to let that go and we're going to see if there's going to be a big difference in terms of growth and speed of growth between one that's growing 
in oxygenated water, oxygenating the roots versus one that's just growing straight cracky. Okay, no oxy oxygenation. And if there is a big difference, well, maybe I'll start aerating more of my green leafy vegetables. But if not, well, then I won't. So that's the experiment, guys. Tune back in on Indoor Hydroponics, where we'll come back in about a month or two to see the update for dinosaur kale and what we're going to do with it. Thanks, guys. Bye.